hey everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'll be showing you how i made a delicious bowl of pasta and chicken which serves four people for less than five pounds and i still had a lot of leftovers yes so i'm giving a basic summary of all the things that i had to buy and um but there'll be much more details in the description box below so just check that out i'm gonna be explaining everything and where exactly i got them for specifically the budget excludes the seasonings but i also put some details as well of that in the description box so just check that out just i boiled the water first and then added the pasta and then i'm adding some salt and then i'm just going to leave it to cook for about 25 minutes after 25 minutes it's done i'm just going to drain it and after draining it i'm going to add a little bit of oil i did that off camera sorry i did a little bit of oil and i'm just mixing it together so just so that the strands are separated and for my chicken drumsticks i'm just cutting them open so that i can then season them i'm doing this because it cooks quicker and it just i just like the seasoning getting into every angle because it just tastes better for seasoning i'm using one mic cube i'm using all-purpose seasoning i'm using chili flakes garlic some chicken seasoning and some oregano that's all i'm using i'm just mixing this together and I'm just going to put this on my chicken drumsticks and just rub this in you can actually put this in the fridge for a few hours to let it marinate and you know soak up all of the goodness and deliciousness from the seasoning but I really did not have that time um, so I'm just spraying my frying pan with some oil you just need to add a little bit of oil and then put your chicken drumsticks or if you're using chicken wings you can use that as well put that into the frying pan and I'm just going to leave it for like 10 minutes so for the first 10 minutes the chicken actually just cook in its own juice if that makes sense and then I added a little bit of water and I just let it cook for about 25 minutes and whilst it's cooking I just blended my pepper mix roughly so it's not fully blended and into a frying pan i'm just adding some oil i'm going to let this heat up for about a minute and then i'm adding some chopped onions so these chopped onions are actually the the chopped ones from ours so they're not the fresh onions well feel free to use some fresh onions as well it's up to you uh, i'm using some tomato puree from asda as well this was quite cheap so yeah and when the tomato paste um darkens and it looks like this i'm just adding a little bit of time feel free to use parsley or any other stuff that you have that's fine or you can just skip this in general it's not um it's not it's very optional so it's not by force all right and then just fry this for about two minutes and then add your pepper mix for the pepper mix i'm adding three quarters of the pepper mix i'm not adding all of it so almost all of it but not all of the pepper mix and i'm just going to mix this together and I'm going to season with some jollof seasoning, some Lagos chili pepper, and three Maggi cubes. Feel free to just use all purpose seasoning and Maggi cubes if you don't have the other seasonings that I use. It would still make up for it as well. That's fine. And I'm just going to mix this properly and allow the stew to just slowly fry for about five to ten minutes and when you see that the oil is coming to the surface it's ready to be added to your um spe and pasta <laughs> god i can't speak to your pasta and just add everything and just mix this thoroughly when you're satisfied with what it looks like you can then cover it up and just let it steam for about three minutes and then your pasta is done and when the chicken is um, cooked as well, I'm just going to fry the... It was quite broken up because obviously I opened it so that, like I said, you don't have to um, slice open your drumsticks in the beginning. That's, that was just my preference. But I don't mind broken chicken in my stew, so yeah. And after frying my chicken, even without taking it out, I'm just going to add the rest of the blended sauce that I had from the beginning. And I'm just going to let this fry together at this point seasoning is optional because you don't want it to be too much because your chicken is already quite um tasty and then the oil i used it to fry something previously as well so i'm just not adding any seasoning but feel free to add um, a few maggie cubes or a pinch of salt if you want 
and I am just going to let this fry for about five minutes when the oil rises to the top as well my sauce is done feel free to just have your chicken by itself i just like stewed chicken so this is how the spaghetti turned out i absolutely love this recipe and i hope you were trying this out thank you so much for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe if you haven't also share this video with your family and friends and i'll see you in the next one bye